Antidote Outdoors Tanu Cover Installation Video. This Tanu cover includes one stainless steel canister with an aluminum cover inside, one aluminum canister cover, two T-track side rails, four drain hoses, and one to two accessory boxes with mounting hardware inside. First step is to locate one of the side rails. Flip it over and you can see that there are stationary nuts and also holes on the bottom of the rail. It actually aligns up to the canister. Easiest way of connecting the side rails to the canister is by pulling out the aluminum cover, adjusting it to fit into the side rails track system, aligning them with the stationary bolts on the canister with those existing holes on the bottom of the side rails. Here you can see the side rail aligning with the canister. Once aligned, grab the two smaller screws. Now you're going to be using those two small screws to mount to the two stationary nuts found in the front area of the side rails. Once connected, repeat on the other side. Now grab your aluminum canister cover and place it over the canister. Now grab six small screws and six caps. Now this step, insert this small screw into the cap over the three existing holes under the aluminum cover. You'll notice that there is threading for the screw to mount into. If the screw is not aligning and you're not able to close the cap, just readjust it. Once adjusted, the screw should align with the threading. You can use your Allen wrench to adjust it. Remember to repeat this on the other side of the aluminum cover. Next step is to grab your drain hoses and the adjustable clamps. Place the adjustable clamp over the drain hose. There are two drain outlets on the canister. Attach the hose with the clamp. You will need a screwdriver to tie in the clamp. The canister will take the plastic hoses and the side rails have two drain outlets for the rubber hoses to attach. Repeat this step for all four hoses. Here you can see the hose is attached to the canister. And the rubber hose is connected to the side rails. Once the side rails are connected to the canister with the aluminum cover, plus the drain hoses, you're able to put it onto your truck. Make sure to adjust the rubber gasket around the framing of the bed. Before mounting, check to see if all rubber gaskets are pulled out and there isn't any folds. This will prevent any water coming into your bed.
you want to do one more walk through to make sure all the rubber gaskets are not folded and under the side rails and also on the canister. This truck is going to be using the stationary nuts with a clamp to connect to the side trim of the bed frame. Here you can see we align the stationary nuts to where it doesn't collide with any of the clips under the side trim. Now grab a fully threaded stud, add Loctite to the solid end, screw in to the stationary nut found on the side rail. This is one you can use your Allen wrench to tighten. Next step is to grab your clamps. Here you can see the correct way to put together a clamp. Once together, you can now put the clamp over the threaded stud. Grab your hex nut and place it over the threaded stud. Before tightening, make sure to use Loctite. You want to make sure that the clamp is not crooked while tightening. This will prevent any movement from the side rails to the side trim. Next step is to grab one of your big screws and a big washer. Make sure to put the Loctite on the screw before tightening. While screwing in to the rear of the clamp, make sure you're at a straight angle. This will prevent any cross thread. Depending on the size of your bed, this will need to be repeated up to six to eight times. Remember, this clamp is only for side trim mounting. If your truck has inner mounting rails, this is the mounting bracket you would use. First, insert the back sliders into the rail. Then place the L bracket over the threaded stud and attach the hex nut. Then you're going to use two small screws and the washers to attach to the back sliders. If this is your mounting bracket for your truck, you will need to repeat this up to six to eight times, depending on your bed size. Each tonneau cover is issued a measuring stick. This helps with mounting. If you're not able to slide the stick back and forth and it's too tight on one area, just note that you will need to loosen up your mounting brackets and adjust them. An area for the drain hose. Each truck is different. We were able to locate at the end of the bed some caps. We popped it off and inserted the hose. This truck has a few areas that you can insert the hose. You can either use the cap or you can use an existing hole on the bottom of the bed. But since the hole is a little smaller, you might need to drill the hole bigger to fit the hose. But if you don't want to drill into your bed, just use the hole under the cap. You will need to repeat this for all four hoses. Another great thing about this tonneau cover is that it comes with T-tracks that you're able to mount accessories to. If interested in purchasing the T-bolts, please let us know.
over here, click. And then we can put the strap inside, close the tailgate, nice and secured. Now to open it, we're gonna open the tailgate. We're gonna pull the tonneau cover closer to us. I'm gonna hold the strap closer to us, releasing the tension on the tonneau cover, push down on the lock, and let the spring action just take it there. So to pull it again, pull it towards us, press up to the click. To open it, we're gonna pull it towards us, push down the lock. If you have any issues with it, it's always a good idea to reset it, which means you pull the tonneau cover closer to you, and then you open it all the way by releasing it and letting the spring action take it all the way back into the casing. You can get grease inside the little track here, which can cause the tonneau cover to close a little rough or open a little rough. You'll find that there's tension. So every tonneau cover comes with some grease or silicone. You can get any type of grease or WD-40 or whatever you want to square a little bit into the track. It'll make it go a lot smoother. In the unlocked position, you can see to lock it, you're going to put the key inside, turn it, pull the key out. If it goes like this, that means it's locked. If it's unlocked, you can tell because it'll have tension, which means you have to pull it closer to you, push down on the lock, 